Okay guys, I have upgraded to the DB Power N6 4K action camera with a touch screen. So I thought I'd go ahead and go over um, some of the additional features as well as the similarities in the uh, previous model that I purchased. You still do get the instruction manual, which is very valuable, uh, waterproof case, additional battery, various attachments. You get the clasp attachment, Velcro, there's a wire attachment, zip ties, which you can use standard ones on that, uh, cleaning cloth to protect your lenses. Now, if you'll notice, it does come with the little plastic over both the front and back. You can use um, the touch screen and take pictures with those in place, so that just adds a little bit of uh, useful life so that you don't scratch it up. Uh, you also get the adhesive mounts some additional adhesives, and all these little attachments that connect together so that you can point your ca uh, camera at any direction or any angle that you're looking for. So just to give you a size comparison, on the left you have the N6 model with touchscreen, and on the right it's the EX5000. And once again, on the left you have the EX5000 and the N6 touchscreen on the right. Uh, you can see uh, the N6 model is slightly thinner. And just a quick visual on the different screen sizes. We have the EX5000. And then also the larger screen on the N6 model. So just focusing on the N6 touchscreen model now, um, here on the side, that little door gives you access to be able to charge and that's where you put your SD card in, I mean your micro SD card in which does not come with this camera purchase so I do recommend ordering it at the same time as you um, order your camera so that you'll be able to enjoy it right away. Putting the camera in the waterproof case is much easier as far as I'm concerned in this model. It's just a quick flip to open the waterproof case. That area here is what makes the waterproof seal. Closing it back in. It's watertight at that point so you don't have to worry about any damage to your camera. And moving on to the touchscreen itself. Uh, the picture is very crisp and clear. And a quick tap there. Let's see if I can make that clearer for you allows you to access a menu where you can do all sorts of different things to the, uh, you can change the size, you know, go into the resolution, swipe to the go to, you know, different menus for motion detection, you know, really a wide variety of options here. And it's a lot easier and, and handy to be able to access them right from the screen. Because, you know, personally speaking, I'm a lot more more likely to actually use them then. So overall I'm just going to say I'm exceedingly happy with this camera purchase but then again I really love the EX5000 as well. There's nothing wrong with that model at all and I think it's perfect. This upgraded version really it's you know you've got some more bells and whistles and yeah you're going to pay a little bit more for it but if it's something that interests you um, you know, maybe use the EX5000 as a starter model and then upgrade to this one when you get a chance to, but I do highly recommend it.